box, I'll box both you motherfuckers too. Fuck out of here, man. You guys were the one talking crazy. And that's how I know you guys are soft. <laughs> You talked all that craziness trying to <coughs> act out. Oh, hold me back. Hold me. Nobody's holding you back. <laughs> Preach said he would take both of you guys because he feels some type of way. And you still got nothing to say. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. We are continuing coverage of the Fresh and Fit Meltdown. Okay, with Abba and Preach. Uh... I actually hit these guys up after my video yesterday. I said, hey, listen, I've been calling these guys out for like seven months. Okay, ever since they came on the scene, I spotted it immediately, looked into their backstory, saw it was all fucking fake, saw it was all scam. And I was like, hey, bring me on your platform and we can talk about these fucking idiots together. Okay, and they replied and they said, hey, brother, um, we've, uh, we've, we've covered like Fresh and Fit like maybe five times in like three days. So at this point, I'm probably going to cool off. I actually had seen some of your work, and I know you're really legit to pick up artists you've seen, so um, I respect what you do. But yeah, we, we can't even afford to do more videos because YouTube is telling us to clamp on it because they don't like the idea of public beefs like this, especially when like people are talking about guns like fucking Walter Weeks' fucking goofball. So uh, we're just going to kind of let it go for now. Uh, so in that capacity, we probably wouldn't uh, be reaching out to, to do a collab for that, man. Um, but yeah. I mean, if you want to keep calling them out, go ham, brother. Uh, those guys are complete scam artists. So it sounds like they might have been open to a collab had they uh, been able to keep making videos about this. But as you heard, YouTube is, is clamping down, not wanting them to make more videos, especially when there's, uh, you know, Walter Weeks is being a moron, going out advertising that he bought a gun and all this shit. Okay, that, that can be a really bad look for YouTube. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to still cover reactions to the videos that they did put out and it should be noted here too that Abba said that he's he's heard about me in the pickup community and that I'm very legit and he respects me and all this stuff okay but let's just move forward here and listen to the apology that uh, Fresh and Fit tried to put out okay but just before we continue if you're new to the channel I offer straightforward no bullshit practical dating advice you can subscribe below press notification bell to be alerted of new videos every single day I also offer an eight-week program you can jump on a free 30 minute call and learn how to start getting two to four dates a week really quickly. Okay. And I also have a 50% off sale on my, my products currently. The links are in the description for those. I have three different products teaching you how to walk up to them in public, how to do all your texting, how to do everything online, etc. Okay. So let's jump into the video here. Today's topic, the boys over at Fresh and Fit decided to stop screaming Period. and uh, posted something on their community page as an apology. Fresh and Fit. We apologize to our it should be no It should be noted, by the way, that this was deleted later. Okay, so this is their fucking bullshit apology on a community post. And then they went and deleted it later because they looked like huge pussies. But let's go through here. From this point forward, we are not going to engage in any beef. We are here to help you guys navigate women, fitness, and finances. Not drama. We're going to keep giving you guys the content you subscribe for. We apologize for deviating, but we are back on track. Men already get attacked enough in the space, and we are not going to contribute to it. Best of luck to Abba and Preach in their future endeavors. See you guys tonight for a fresh and fit after hours. <clears throat> what do you mean about their apology? He apologized to their supporters. He didn't apologize to me or my wife or my country. Later that same evening. Real quick, guys, okay? Because uh, I know this is probably on everyone's minds. We already got 6,000 plus live viewers. So thank you so much for coming in. Only in four uh, minutes. Yeah, only yeah, <laughs> seriously, within four minutes. So guys, we'll go talk about this real fast. <laughs> On this podcast, we talk about accountability, okay? Yeah. And we are not above taking accountability. And I'm going to tell you guys. This is what's funny. We're not above taking accountability. Meanwhile, they're faking their whole fucking image. Okay, where, where's the accountability there? Where's the accountability for Walter Weeks' paid press release? Where's the accountability for these guys sucking shit with women, having a documented empirical history of absolutely fucking bombing with women. Where's the accountability for putting on a fake alpha persona and lying your asses off every fucking show? Okay, there's none. This is just fucking bullshit to the camera to make the viewers feel a little bit better and, and get on their side. Okay, but as you can see, as I'll cover in another video, Fresh and Fit lost like 20,000 subscribers in a day and it's gonna continue. Right now, we made a mistake, okay? It is not cool to insult a man's country and or wife live on air. We should have kept the disagreement <laughs> on the topic and not the people. Yep. 
<laughs> look at look at Preach's face. Okay, smart people discuss ideas. Like ready to fucking kill this dude. Good people discuss people, and we made a mistake. All right. So with that said, we apologize. Okay, for talking about his wife. What's funny is like this is just Preach knows this is just fucking lip service. This is just total fucking nonsense. Myron's just fucking saying this shit to save face to his audience. He's not really sorry. He still, you know, holds true to those insults he said to preach. And the, and the stupidest thing is this dude is that Myron's a total fucking faker and a total fucking scammer. So he, he, he's built up a whole fucking scam platform, an audience that worships his, his fucking lies and his facade. Then he's talking shit, running his mouth. Then they're fucking insulting this dude's wife and country and all this shit. And now he's just come out, coming on with a formal lip service apology. It's, it's all fucking bullshit. His country and making ad hominem attacks on them. They're fellow YouTubers. If we have disagreements, we're going to have disagreements. But the way we went about it was not right. Okay? Yeah. So we got to hold ourselves accountable as well. And from this point forward, we're bearing the hatchet. We wish the best. Stop and preach. Yeah, the best, man. We're going to keep making content. Giving <laughs> Zooming in on this dude's face the whole time. They don't wish them the best. They just don't want to fucking get knocked out in a boxing match. You guys, what you want, and we're going to stay away from the drama. Or have the, or get like run up on in Miami. That being said, the boxing, you got our number, hit us up on the side. You know where we're at. We're in Miami, so let's do it. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, they're, they're actually accepting it. That's bullshit. They're not really accepting it. They're not going to fucking box yeah. You didn't even do that. You proposed a fight, talked shit, then when the person accepted, you're like... Oh, yeah, this is... Here we go, classic Danny Mullen, okay? Talk shit, proposed a challenge, I accepted, okay, his his five fucking loser crew challenging me to a pickup competition. I said, let's bet 10 to 100K on each of you, okay, and then radio silence, and, then, and but to his audience, he's like, yeah, I accepted in the DM. No, he never fucking DM me. I showed proof of that. We'll put it up again. He never accepted. He still has not accepted, still radio silence, fresh and fit to save face to the audience so they don't look like huge pussies. Oh yeah, the boxing, let's do it. Okay, but here, here, listen to Abba explain what really happened. I'll bring $500,000. I offered you $20,000 to just show up. Win or lose, you were gonna get paid. I'll hand you the check beforehand. And you still cowered up talking about, no, we need to get promoters and all. These guys think everything is about money. This ain't about money. And I'm gonna say this to you guys. I don't play with violence. It's why you've never heard me and Preach come on here and say we would fight some people. You've never heard me and Preach go here, we would start some stuff. Because where we come from, we understand that's a real thing. You don't play with violence. You don't threaten violence. You don't encourage it. It's not something you take willy-nilly. Because do it with the wrong people, and you'll get called for it. Y'all were the ones caught crazy. I'll, I'll box any of these guys. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'll be both niggas. I really want to talk about that. <laughs> the fucking chef hats. I love that. I, for all you guys watching, I love my reaction videos. People are like, oh, you're really getting down the art of reacting. This is just me being me. Okay, but but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a parody on these guys and get get a fucking chef hat and all this all this stuff and imitate these guys and it's gonna be fucking hilarious. Get box, I'll box both you motherfuckers too. Fuck out of here, man. You guys were the one talking crazy, and that's how I know you guys are soft. <laughs> you talked all that craziness trying to <coughs> act out. Oh, hold me back. Hold me. Nobody's holding you back. <laughs> Preach said he would take both of you guys because he feels some type of way, and you still got nothing to say. Hey, and preach, I guarantee your your wife is probably ugly. I said it. <laughs> yo, you gave her a ring pop and you licked her at your fucking wedding. We should we should fly her up, bro. Weirdo. Hey, yo, we should fly her up. Guarantee her. <laughs> Flewed out. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. This dumbass <laughs> nigga. I love you. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> You're making them dumbass ways. <laughs> we fucking help guys make money. We help guys get in shape. We help men improve. What the fuck are Thanks. you dumbass niggas doing? No, you guys fake a full lifestyle. You have a fucking trash platform. And people come on for the drama. Okay, you regurgitate stupid bullshit from Kevin Samuels and from Rolo Tomasi. You guys aren't real experts. You don't know fucking shit. That's the whole point. You guys aren't helping people. All you're doing is, is going for a money grab and trying to be the cool guys. Okay, you want to fucking buy cool cars and cool jets and be cool. Because you, you desperately have wanted to be cool your whole life. And, and absolutely failed. And then you guys think this is your moment to shine. Behind your shitty ass road shotgun, Mike. <laughs> Yo, chat. Put a visual. warning in chat if you agree with us. Yo, real talk about that. Y'all niggas, I could tell you niggas stink from the fucking video I'm watching right now. Y'all be sweating in the fucking studio. <laughs> and y'all standing mad awkward. Yeah, this is like totally off the rails. I don't know how this isn't a violation of YouTube's community guidelines with cyberbullying. 
they're, they're basically implying that, or, or saying explicitly, actually, not implying, that Abba and Preach stink, and they're making, like, monkey noises, which is extremely, extremely offensive. They yeah. close to each other, talking to that shitty-ass mic. Hey, what's your take on this, Preach? I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. The fuck, man? Yeah, one Nigga sound chats. like Clifford, bro. Yeah, yeah. one in the chats. Oh, God. Y'all don't want it with us. We will roast you guys. Yo, shout out to the Clifford fan, by the way. You guys are not as charismatic as us. Yeah. You guys repeated it multiple times. You guys are not as charismatic as us. I've called them out in like seven videos. They haven't responded to jack shit. And now one of those videos is over like 100K. They haven't said shit because I just stated a whole bunch of objective facts. Facts, bro. Facts, facts, facts. What are they going to say? Oh, the, these facts aren't true. I, I showed evidence of them. When you thought you were on top, right? Because y'all got more views, right? So you better and all that stuff. When you got the more power, the perceived perception of that. You want to talk all crazy, and now all of a sudden, when you realize that power is not there, now you want to act a little bit humbled. It's too late now. You want to see someone's character, give them power, <laughs> and then watch how they treat the less fortunate. He goes, it's too late now. I love this dude. Uh, both these dudes are cool. These are, this is real messages And you go here. understand how they move. Y'all never see me talk to somebody with low subscribers like they're, like they're trash or they're riffraff. Never. I've never done that. I do IG lives every day. Every day people show up, and I have long conversations. I don't care. Because it's not about that. But these guys, you see what they're about. And now they want to charge $2,000 for courses, meet and greets, all this other nonsense while they're lying and faking their whole lifestyle? Nah. I lying and faking their whole lifestyle. I've been reporting this for seven months, okay? And, and, and every fucking day, people are spamming the comments. You're a hater. You're a hater. You're, uh, you hate Fresh and Fit because they're black. They're, that's another popular one. Oh, you're, it's a white boy hating on Fresh and Fit because they're black. Okay, this has nothing to do with race. It's zero. It's about two guys fully fabricating a lifestyle, fabricating expertise, and just being full-on clowns. Okay, that's all it is. And, and there's tons of evidence to show what clowns they are and to show what scammers they are. Okay, this has nothing to do with race, nothing to do with hating. Got people in my DMs, other creators, that like, maybe we handle this behind, why would I handle it behind the scenes? You think I want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody who doesn't believe <laughs> in the things that they're saying? You were loud about it. Why do I have to be private? You were loud about this, all of this. You were loud about me. You were loud about my wife. You were loud about my country. You were loud about pro boxing. I didn't bring this. You did. You were loud about it. You handle why it in would, public? Why would I do it in private? There you why? go. There you you go. brought that. There you go. You brought, when you open your mouth, When you open your mouth, there's consequence to the open your mouth like that. That's what real men do. What did you say? You said I was 40? Exactly. Back in my day, you could open with that. You could open your mouth like that and say stuff like that to people because it might happen. You can't do that. In prison, you can't talk shit like that. If you talk shit about the guard, they're going to ask you to do something about it. Now you were extra loud. Extra, extra loud. You want to talk loud and be extra, extra? <laughs> be real about it. There's always going to be a motherfucker that's going to be realer than you. Always. Hmm. Know that. You want to do this? I was right here. I'm still here. You know what they said? Oh, I'm going to be here, here. You know what they said? They said, why would we do a two versus one? That doesn't make sense. No. Now, yeah, now they're fucking, yeah. Fresh and fitter just trying to back out as much as possible. Oh, why would we do a two versus one? I'm going to take one bitch. And the other bitch. You guys are two bitches. Twin sisters. That's your new name. Not fresh and fit. Twin sisters. Let's go. These guys turned, changed their tune once they saw subscribers going down. That's how you know they lack principle. Yep. There it is right there. These guys, as soon as their subscribers are going down. Hey, guys. Just so everyone knows, no more drama. Just so you know, we're, we're totally down for the boxing. But, but we're not doing two on one. But, but they're not except... It's just all bullshit. They're, they're just fucking in, in the, the fake apologies and all this shit just because they don't want to lose subs because then they can't be the cool guys anymore. They're so caught up in numbers. They changed what they said. They deleted their videos. They deleted everything, right? Just because they lost subscribers. Mm -hmm. You want to stand behind a man you wanna call us who out only on stands behind numbers? Yo, how long have we been at 1.38 for? The past three fucking months? Yeah. It is what it is. Who cares? We haven't it grown is, that much. It is what it is. Does it matter? Not really. It didn't matter when we are at 300K. It didn't matter when we are at 69K. 
Y'all notice the outro still says 69k because it's all the same. <laughs> that's, that's the worst part. Our outro. We never change the outro. Look at the fucking outro. It says 60 whatever now. You know what kills me? You know what kills me? People mad. Well, why would you make the video in the first place? Y'all ain't got nothing to say when we cover Skippy or any other individual and we go at it like that. Then it's these dudes. They invited you in their home. No, they begged us to come on a podcast with them. Don't get it twisted. We're got, not friends. I got the we receipts. We didn't text. I got the okay? receipts. And I hold everyone accountable. If you say something crazy online, I'm not going to call you in private, okay? Unless it's a private matter. Yeah, agreed. Anyone that's fucking talk shit about me, I've responded publicly. And, and beef should be handled publicly. This is not a, a thing to message in private. Fresh and fit are fucking huge cornballs. They don't even deserve to be on YouTube. Or have any kind of audience whatsoever it's just a fucking disgrace especially for to bring into the dating game and, and mislead a whole bunch of guys and try to act like role models walter weeks is working at wix december of 2020 it's a website builder okay and, and let's pop up the girl he was married to for a while yeah now a whole bunch of impressionable young men are looking to these two guys fresh and fit for dating advice and being massively misled Okay, because those guys don't know what the fuck they're talking about whatsoever. They publicly said some stupid shit, so we said, let's dissect that stupid stuff. But now, because it's your hero, oh, Abba, or like, Two-Faced. What's Two-Faced? I went on that podcast, and I went right to Myron's face, because he was talking crazy on another podcast. You know what I told him? Why were you saying that stuff? He started stuttering. I don't remember calling you blue pill, <laughs> beta. Oh. Specifically, you felt like we were kind of blue pilled, right? Uh, I don't remember what, what show. What show was this one? I remember very, very well because that episode I was very careful of what I said because it gets you washed. That episode I was very careful of what I said because it gets you washed. So I, I just want to ask you about that. Why do you think I'm, I'm, I might be blue pilled? Um, well, from what I remember, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. I would say, uh, blue, like, hmm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think like, <laughs> what, which video it was. It was the one. I'm, I'm trying to remember. I said, I quoted it right to his face. Even even the goofy, fresh boy. He was like, oh, Abba came with the smoke. <laughs> I also find it funny <laughs> that he came with the smoke. The idea that I wouldn't come to people <laughs> and confront them about things they say, are you guys mad? Hmm? But don't ever come out here talking all this stuff. Just say you're a fanboy and you can't help simp for them. I'm not mad at it. Everyone, when I was a kid, Batman was magic. Everyone's like, Superman's better. I said, fuck no. Even though Superman got laser beam coming out of his eyes, it's obvious he's better. But I get it, you know what I mean? That's that's Batman. Clark Kent. <laughs> what? Superman's stupid. <laughs> stupid character. Definitely better, stronger. But he's stupid. Agreed. I'm not a fan of Clark Kent. It's like, come on, B. But he's still stronger. Yeah, but if he's not, he's not wise enough to use it. Goku's not the strongest character because he's stupid. I mean, Goku's pretty weak, but that's a different story. That's it is. We're not, we're not nerd shit. So, if they say some more dumb stuff in the future, we're going to cover it. The same way we covered Skippy. The... See, they can't now, though, because YouTube's fucking clamping down. As you heard in the audio in the beginning, this, this is going to be wrapping up with, with their videos about Fresh and Fit, just because of how, how much the drama escalated to the point of Fresh, who's, na who's known as Walter Weeks, going and buying a fucking gun, which will have a separate video about. Same we covered Amanda Seals, same we covered anybody. I like Phil DeFranco. Phil DeFranco said some dumb shit. We covered it, period. It, it ain't Two-Face. All right, so you all do you. We got more videos of y'all we're going to react to. We're going to keep deconstructing the stupid shit y'all say. And if y'all want to stop watching, stop watching. I don't care. Tell us what you guys think. Do you guys agree with their apology? Do you disagree with us in the way we're handling It was all bullshit. It was all just fucking for the cameras. It was all lip service, okay? Lots more responses coming regarding this matter. Please check out the 50% off sale with the links in the description, 50% off my products for a limited time. Also, you can jump on a free 30 minute call to speak to me or someone on my team regarding my eight week program, how we can get you very good at the game very fast. Start flooding your calendar with dates, okay? To the point where you don't even have enough time to see all the girls. Uh, also, please subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see everyone in the next video. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line, I ain't never had to wait I'm the realest in this game, I ain't never had to fake Just take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards I'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon